Hello, my Taurus friends, and thank you for joining me, Indigo, on Indigo Goddess 1111. I want to thank you for coming to my channel, to watching my videos, uh, to continue to be supporters of mine. 2017 would not have been the year it was without you guys. I have learned so much <laughs> in such a little amount of time about posting videos, taking videos, um, emails, more about computers than I ever wanted to learn. Um, I have been very well educated the last couple months. My patience have been tried. My, <laughs> um, it's just, it's been an experience that I never uh, thought in my life that I would really take on and one that I would continue to learn from and enjoy. So I want to thank you guys for making 2017 a mile marker uh, for me, a milestone, I mean, a mile marker. I don't know where that came from, but um, thank you so very much. I am going to be posting a message about people whose videos they were not received while I was away. Um, I did... Uh, I did get an illness or I've had an illness, I guess you could say. Um, but it really wiped me out the last couple of weeks. So I was doing my readings, but actually it's been almost a month now. I was doing my readings, but I was not working out of my office. I had a temp girl in there. And so some people didn't get theirs. So if you paid and you got confirmation from me that I did your reading, your reading was done. Um, I have a special message for you and I will post that as well today. So only those people, please watch that message. If you haven't ordered a reading yet, or you did order a reading and receive it, that message is not for you. Um, because it, it's a mess. So, um, rest assured I'm back. <laughs> I'm just going to do it myself because then I know it gets done. I know you guys receive them and, uh, I don't have to worry about somebody else taking care of it. Um, I think that's really the only announcements I had. Um, I want to thank you guys again for all the, uh, warm wishes in the, um, in the passing of uh, a family member and my illness. I just, I just want to thank you all so very much for being so supportive of me. Um, but in the last week or two, I have gotten so many downloads, so many spiritual, spiritual upgrades. Like my, um, My channeled messages are coming in so clear, so strong, so quick, so many of them that um, I am going to give the messages that I channeled and um, wrote down during my meditation. And I'm not even going to use the cards for these messages just because there are so many that I finally had to stop and start writing down. So I am going to ch channel a few as I go, but I'm also going to refer back to my notes. Uh, so with that, I'm going to get started, Taurus. I'm sorry about the all the blah, blah in the beginning. I will timestamp it four minutes. Um, I'm starting your channeled messages. So um, see, I'm already getting messages in. It's just insane. So. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, especially Venus, um, because a lot of these messages are centered around love, and we all know Venus is the planet of love. So um, really check your Venus sign, especially um, in the new this new year, um, because that is where your love messages are really going to be most prominent. Obviously, your sun and moon sign is still very important as well, but that's for all areas of your life. And Venus is 
in the moon is just um, centered around the area of love. And sorry if I like stop talking in between words like that because I'm trying to hear my hear my guides at the same time. So spirit is encouraging you, Taurus, to really um, to go back to who you are, who you were before you faced this hurt and pain and um, the situation that you have been going through in 2017. Go back to that person. What are your dreams, your desires? What are your belief systems? Why are you doing what you're doing? What? Why do you make the choices that you're making? And he wants you to really reflect back and because they feel you're kind of out of the line for some of you for some of you 2017 has been a really rough year you're fearful of 2018 but spirit is wanting to reassure you that you are going to put the problems and the hurts that you've had in 2017, you're going to put them behind you. You are going to be able to move beyond them. And I see you being very happy in 2018. I see you are going to meet somebody new, possibly Aries. But they are going to treat you so good. I see them showering you with gifts, just really giving you the world. Anything you want and they can give it to you, they're going to. You know, they're going to be almost over accommodating. Like, what is, what is it? that I can do to make you happy. Oh, that's it. Okay. I'll do that. Or, um, what do you want me? How do you want me to help? And you say, say, Oh, well, I already did that. So perfect. You know, it's like, they're, they're going to, Spirit is saying they are going to give you the definition of love in a way that you have never seen, heard, felt, that definition before they're going to show you what true love is what real love is what commitment is what a best friend is yeah they're literally going to give you the world i see this um person being stable, honest, trustworthy, faithful. There's no question about whether you're enough for them or because they value you. They value your, your opinion, your thoughts, your um, emotions, there's no question in their mind the amount of benefit or the amount, I don't know what Spirit is trying to say there. There's no question what you bring to their life. They know and they don't want to let you go and you deserve this. You have been through the last year has been one of the hardest years for you guys. Um, and it's been a struggle for you. You've been in your head a lot. Um, asking yourself questions. Why? Why did this happen to me? What did I do? What did I not do? Why am I not enough? Um, Spirit is saying you need to 
bring up and deal with the feeling of um, abandonment that you have had an issue with either since childhood or from a past life. But Spirit is saying you need to deal with that or it's going to keep coming up in every relationship after this. Yeah, you feel abandoned or like you don't want to burden somebody because you're worried they're going to get tired of you and then they're going to go. So you put up with people's bullshit. You put up with their lies. They're sneaking around. They're pretty much stealing from you because they're not bringing anything to the table. They're not putting anything into this relationship. They're just taking from you. So you allow that. You put up with that. You tell yourself it's not that bad or you tell yourself that it's okay because you're worried about being abandoned and spirit saying there's no reason to worry. You're not going to be abandoned. You're a Taurus. You're a great catch. You are well-grounded. You are intelligent. You're, you have a business sense to you that most signs don't have. So Spirit saying, don't, don't settle because you deserve more than that. Um, so I see you a lot happier in 2008. You are putting 2017, 2008, 2018. You're putting 2017 behind you, and um, I do see you selling something. Um, I'm not quite sure what it is. It's something from your past, and you're going to, it's going to make you, like, after it's sold, you're going to be like, oh, shit, maybe I shouldn't have done that. But Spirit is saying it's okay. It is part of your healing. Um because I see you're going to be starting over, starting over from the ground up um, with a new beginning. So like you could be selling a home and buying a new one, starting over fresh. Um, you could be selling a business and doing something else uh, for work. Like you are just going to tear all those um, old things out of your life that remind you of anything or anyone that was not there for your greater good. And you are going to build it the way you want it, the way you like it. And you're going to be much happier. Just put it out there. You are going to be able to manifest um, in 2018 like crazy. So be careful what you wish for and be, uh, be aware of your negative thoughts because those manifest as well. Um, you are, by the end of January, going to be seeing a situation that you are in or involved in or that you know of, something that is directly connected to you. you you're going to be see th seeing things much clearer in a way that you haven't before. Um, something's going to come, something's going to come to light. Something's going to come to the surface. Um, and this could be with another earth sign. Um, it's going to cause you to change direction completely. Like um, you were headed down Broadway and all of a sudden, you see something clear as day, and you immediately turn off. You are now going down Park Avenue. Like, it's so quick and so um, needed, is what Spirit is saying. It is so needed because you... You were lying to yourself. You were telling yourself things to make it okay. And I'm not sure what the situation is. Could be with um, a friendship, with a spouse, a parent, a sibling. It's somebody that's very close to you, though. 
like you were telling yourself, lying to yourself, trying to make it okay. But at the end of the day, Spirit is saying, it still happened. Even if it's not happening anymore, which Spirit is saying it is, I don't know what that is. You will know if this message is for you. Uh, even though you're being told it's not happening anymore, it's still going on. And even if it wasn't still going on, it did happen in the past, and you know that, and that should be enough to change your direction. So that message, if that was intended for you, you know it. Um, somebody, though, is going to... Is going to try to manipulate you in a way so you believe their lies. So you believe them when they tell you, oh no, that didn't happen, or some, but there, somebody's going to try to bring you in and keep you there by just feeding you a bunch of bullshit. You know what happened. And they know you know what happened. And they're still going to try to pull this. So be aware of those people in your life. Um, but I do see you coming full circle. I see you allowing completions to be made. But it's not going to happen until a situation is allowed to be brought out into the light and it's going to happen dramatically. Like, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like in a huge way, it's not just going to be like, you know, you stumble across somebody's phone and, you know, do one of that and see something you didn't, shouldn't see. No, it's going to be huge. It's going to be like, Like, everybody's going to know. It's going to happen. Be careful of rumors. Um, but after this unexpected event and, and this big something that happens that wakes you up, that allows you to let this complete, it's going to propel you in a forward motion. And it's going to be nothing but positivity if you allow it. Um, this big event, though, is going to cause one of two things. You're going to be like, okay, I knew that was going to happen. I'm prepared for that to happen. It happened now and I'm going to move on. Or you're going to be like, okay, that happened. I had a feeling it was going to happen because I might've heard that somewhere, but now I got to know more. Now I got to dig. Now I got to play detective. Now I am so insistent on getting every ounce of information that I'm going to let all those opportunities pass me by because for some reason you need that information. You need to know the truth before, Before you can make a choice, but Spirit's saying you should already be able to make that choice because there's enough there in black and white right in front of you. There's enough information that you have already to make that choice. So that's why there's going to be one or two people or one or two things will happen. Some of you, you'll be like, all right, yep, you're right. It is right here in black and white. I've already seen all this. They're admitting it to me. So, yeah. Peace. 
And the other group of you are going to turn into a private eye. I see you not stalking, but following them around. I got to sneeze. Or not. It went away now. Because I said something. If I wouldn't have said something, then it would have, then I would have sneezed. So, for those group of you that is going to go be a private detective, Spirit is saying... Spirit is saying, don't lie to yourself. It's the same as cheating. When you are withholding truth from yourself. So stop it. Nobody's doing anybody any favors. When they're cheating on you, when they're cheating and you're lying when when they're cheating on you and you're lying to you nobody's doing you any favors so it's time to accept the truth because they're telling it to you there's no reason to go investigate um <laughs> you've been resisting or afraid to move forward you're afraid that you're not going to be able to stand on your own two feet. But I see a lot of transitions happening for you. I see... I see you setting yourself free. I really do. By the end of January. Maybe February. Um, just right now, you're unsure how to proceed. Like, emotionally or... Um, like, like you've been with, for a group of you, you've been with this person for so long, or they've become, or they've been a part of your life for so long. Like, you don't know how to proceed without them. Like, you know what you have to do, but you just don't know how to do it. You don't know if you want to do it. Um, let's see if I have anything else. Um, Yeah, you are going to find balance, um, but you're not going to be able to move on unless you, unless you confront what's holding you back. So you have to let those cycles completely, um, oh, you have to let those cycles complete before a transformation can happen. So, um, so what Spirit's asking you to do is just to, to go within, to go soul deep, to dig deep down in there and find out where your hurts are, why they hurt, and what you have to do to heal those hurts. And you are going to have the world in your hands. You are going to have a beautiful, beautiful fire sign come into your life. I'm seeing an Aries, but it doesn't, I mean, they could be Aries, sun, moon, rising, Venus, but you need to separate yourself because there is someone in your life right now that's betraying you. They are demanding of you. They, they're pushy. They're a burden. They're not offering anything to the relationship whatsoever. And it doesn't have to be necessarily be like a boyfriend, girlfriend, spouse. You know, it can be a best friend. It can be a parent. It can be anybody. But somebody in your life right now, and you know who this is, Spirit is saying. 
They're, they are betraying you. They say one thing to your face and another behind your back to people. They tell people that you're not together. Okay, this is for a relationship. Because they are telling people that you're not together. They're t yeah. But yeah, they're not working. So they're living off you, apparently. I do see court cases coming up, though. And the truth is going to come out. I also see that this person is dealing with either with an addiction of some kind, whether it be drugs or alcohol, but some, but the other person is overindulging. They're having sleepless nights due to this overindulgence. And there could be possible legal trouble as far as, as that area, but I do see court cases that involve children setting child support. So the truth will come out um, during that. But yeah, Spirit's saying you're just feeling used right now. And you feel like they've been playing a game with you. And it's not very fun. They, they make you feel stuck. Because they have been lying to you for so long. There's so many lies that you are having a hard time. just ciphering through the bullshit. Um, I do see this relationship ending. You are going to get out of feeling stuck after you go internally and figure out why you're still in the same place, why you're still with the same person. They can't even tell you if they definitely want to be with you. They can't even tell you why they pick you because they don't know if they pick you because they might pick that other person. So Spirit is saying, why are you still there? You are too amazing, too awesome, too much full of love to only be half loved. You deserve it all. Because you've been enough all along. It is their lacking that caused them to step out on you. Nothing of you. You've given this person everything. For years. And now you're going to step out on me? Now you don't know if you want to be with me or with them? You don't know if I'm worth it. You don't know if you can stay faithful to me. You don't know if you want to be my partner, be my best friend, my other half. You don't know. You can't decide between me or them. See ya. It's time to let them go. If they can't tell you with 100% truth. I pick you. I'll pick you every time. I've always picked you. And ask me again tomorrow. It'll be the same answer in a year, five years, 10 years, 50 years, the next lifetime. If they can't tell you, they pick you every time without a doubt, no hesitation. Peace. They don't deserve you. Not at all. I see this relationship coming to an end. And I see you having a lot to say when it ends. And as you should. You do have somebody coming in who, like I said, is just going to offer you everything and more. 
Um, I do see him as an Aries. So, yeah, so open up communication. Uh, try not to close down when meeting new people. Because this is going to come in at the end of January. And it's going to come in fast. I'm sorry. I get him out. I'm such, I pick up on so much energy. And I just feel your sadness right now. And it just hit me. So... Every, every ending is hard, but the reward of getting through that ending is that beautiful new beginning. And I promise you, Taurus, that this person coming into your life is going to change your world. It is going to redefine love in every aspect. It's going to make you feel like you are the only person in the room of a thousand. Like spirit is saying you have never experienced a love like this ever. And it's time to welcome it in. Because you just got through the hardest relationship that you have ever been in. The most hurtful. The most confusing. The most betrayed you've ever felt. You got through it. You're doing it. And it's about done. So now get ready for the love of a lifetime. Sounds like a pretty good trade-off to me. So those are my messages that I have channeled in from Spirit. Um, yeah, it's time. I'm just, I Spirit just said that three times in a row. So I have relayed the messages as best I could. Um, There's a group of you, never mind, I guess I got another message. <laughs> There's a group of you, um, <coughs> excuse me, you have children. I'm getting for this group of you, two small children, um, one boy, one girl. I mean, they're small children. Like, one isn't even in school yet. You are holding off moving on or leaving this person because of your children. You don't want them hurt emotionally. You don't know how they're going to handle it. Spirit is saying do not be... Do not be worried. God would not put you in a situation that would harm innocent children. For one. For two, this man is going to be one of the most positive, influential person in these children's lives. He is going to love them and care about them like they are his own. And they are going to grow up looking up to him. He's not going to replace their father. Because I see their father will remain a very, very strong um, influence in their life as well. And he is an amazing dad. But he's not a good pair for you. This person coming in, however, is going to... 
is going to treat your children like his own. So don't be fearful of that. Don't think of it as you're taking a parent away from the situation out of the home. Just think of it as one more person to get to love your children. And how beautiful and how amazing is it for our children to have all the more people love them, care about them, look out for them, provide for them, watch over them, love them. So never think of a step parent as somebody that's trying to replace me or, you know, I don't want him dating anybody because I don't want them to think that they're her mom and I'm not, you know, like never think of it like that. Just for one, be grateful that there are people out there that want to step in and help raise children that are not their own. And be grateful that our children are lucky enough to be loved by just one more person. And when you think about it like that, it just seems kind of silly that you wouldn't want people that love them to come into their life. So um, don't think of you leaving their father as trying to replace him um, because it's not doing any favors to those children to grow up in a household of an unhappy marriage. However, if you both, you split up and you both find spouses that you love and adore and they love and adore and the spouses, you know, love the kids, that's two homes of happy, loving, committed relationships that they get to watch grow up and learn from and, and have as something to model after. That's two places, both parents, both homes versus living in one home with one dysfunctional marriage, one unhappy marriage, one marriage where you can tell they, they can't stand each other versus two very happy, healthy homes. So that message was for somebody out there because spirit is very precise in what he is telling me. And that is definitely not for everybody, but it's always good to hear. Um, it's time to let go Taurus, because, uh, your new beginnings are here and you don't want to miss this. You don't want to miss the chance to have this in your life. I promise. So, um, I have missed you guys so much. I'm glad I'm feeling better and I'm back. I am going to be posting a video, uh, or a message for those of you who have, uh, had orders for me in the last month, but thank you again for supporting me in 2017. I'm so excited to be here in 2018. I'm excited to be passing on my messages as they are being channeled clearer than ever. And, um, I just thank God every day that I get to get up and do what I do. So thank you guys for watching and supporting me. Um, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. I do have my booking back open. So if you would like to book a private reading with me, um, I am now also ordering or offering a reading that's called Talking to Heaven. And um, I can channel spirit and messages from deceased loved ones. Um, so I will be offering that. I do not have it up yet just because I today's the first day I've really felt like 90%. The last two days I was good at 75, but um, <clears throat> so I am going to get that up there this weekend. But that is one of my messages from Spirit that he wants me to start offering that service. So um, with that being said, I'm going to let you go. I babbled for another 35 minutes. So um, I hope you guys had a wonderful holiday. I hope you guys have an amazing 2018, and I hope that you allow me to be a part of it 
and to walk that journey with you guys. Um, as always, I am sending you love and light and God bless you all.